When planning a place to stay during your trip to the Bay Area, it doesn't get any better than the Fairmont San Francisco. Today, we're here to try an activity that they've been offering for the past few years, and it has people buzzing. We are on the beautiful rooftop garden at the Fairmont San Francisco, and if you haven't guessed what we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be harvesting honey. And I'm hoping that this man here, Spencer, our beekeeper, can help us out. And I want to find out more about the honey here at the Fairmont from the executive chef, Chad. So nice to meet you guys. Thanks for helping us out today. This is a rare opportunity to harvest honey in the middle of a big city like this. Right, Spencer? Well, actually, it's amazing. This is one of my best locations for four hives. I did over 1,000 pounds the last two years. San Francisco is very big on sustainability, so Absolutely. all of the honey that is harvested here is used in the kitchen. It's in use in all of our kitchens here. Of course, naturally, everyone wants to think that we're in the pastry shop, you know, with that sweet, but we also use it in the savory kitchen, in the hot kitchens as well. Yeah. It's one of our favorites. My mouth is watering. You're making me hungry, Chad. <laughs> so, Chef Chad, have you given this a go? We have. What should we expect? We should expect a lot of bees and some great honey at the end. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. On the rooftop of this landmark hotel live over 250,000 bees. Just last year, this colony produced over 1,000 pounds of honey, which is a massive amount for a setup nestled in a major city. Come here and look down. See all that that new white wax in there? Yeah. That's fresh new honey. Mm -hmm. So that's all honey? That's all honey. Wow. Oh. That's incredible. Is it delicious? Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. Save some crap. Wow. See how they... Uh, They're all working so yeah. hard. They fill the cell up, and actually when they collect it, it's nectar. It's about 85% water. It's important that Spencer finds capped honey before he harvests it. That means the bees have capped the honeycomb with wax, which preserves it. If the honeycomb was uncapped, the honey itself would be too watery. In the midst of our honey lesson, we couldn't help but be amazed that Spencer was the only one not wearing a suit. Oh, it's loud. How are you not wearing a suit right now? Yeah, how well, that's it's, amazing. You know, there, there's a certain attitude. If you send out, there's like, they're like dogs. If you send off negative energy, they pick up on it. But if you act like you're just a tree or something, they, they don't really see so you. Let's all act like trees. Do they know which hive is theirs? The see they'll come out and they'll kind of hover right in front of the hive. They program that in. They got a little piece of iron in their head, so they've got an inner compass. Oh wow! So they know which one. Yeah, is yeah. Get really oriented to one little spot. That's awesome. Now, what's the average lifespan of a bee? They just work themselves to death. But this time of year, they can live four or five months because there's really not much going on. So, what are you looking for when trying to find the perfect honey to harvest? Well, you want to see it capped over. So it's mature. Oh, you know it's mature. That not, looks delicious. It is done, and it'll never get any better than it is right now. Well, in order for us to try this honey, that means taking off the bee suits. And while Spencer might be comfortable without one, we're definitely not. So we stepped over to a different part of the roof to see the reward of all this hard work from these bees. Go ahead. I didn't bring a spoon, so you're on your own. Anywhere. Doesn't make any difference. Oh, look at it. Ooze out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Wow. That is the sweetest honey. I eat a lot of honey, Spencer, and this is the best honey I've ever had. Mm. So, big thank you to you, Spencer. Okay. I mean, thank you. This has been a truly unique experience, right, guys? Definitely. Perfect. I never in a million years thought I'd be doing this. No. Yeah. So good. All right, well, uh, let's continue digging in. Thanks, wow. thanks a bunch. Spencer, get a bite. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>